in Gematria, the esoteric and occult practice of coding numbers behind words, female has a value of 67 in this Jewish cipher. Female equals 67. Understand that this is a code used by NASA, the Jewish Kabbalists, the Scottish Rite Freemasons who run NASA, use this in everything they do. So, because female equals 67, that's why on March 25th, 2019, a date with 67 numerology, 3 plus 25 plus 20 plus 19, NASA is putting out propaganda, canceling their all-female spacewalk. See this? Female 67, that's the topic of their propaganda. Of course, it's a date with 47 numerology, their compass set at 47 degrees, time 47. Please stay tuned for more, but I want you to understand who is putting this on, and this is just another one of the riddles. NASA is just a gang of actors, Scottish Rite Freemasons, and liars, and they put up propaganda by the numbers. What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. And this is some clear propaganda from NASA. I mean, anyone who falls for this just admits how retarded they are. It's unfortunate NASA canceled the all-female EVA, but it's the right decision. So they're supposed to have a spacewalk featuring all females. You know, it's going to be some female 42 ritual like they usually do. But actually, no, it was not going to be. It was never going to happen. And that's what I mean. Why would they cancel a spacewalk because the spacesuits didn't fit? Guys, do you know what NASA is? This is a gang, an organization of engineers, scientists, calculators. In the narrative and not. I mean, the Freemasons who script all this, they do things by the numbers, everything's pre-planned. So think about it. You're planning something as big and as expensive as a spacewalk, and you get everything else ready, but the spacesuit measurements <laughs> aren't on points. So because of that, they get canceled. No, it's complete fake news propaganda. How can you possibly believe that a group of engineers couldn't get the spacesuit the right size, but they can get everything else in order? This is the most nonsense piece of propaganda I've probably seen all year. It's not even, nothing even that flashy. It's just, you know, a, a clear, dumbass ritual from the Scottish Rite Freemasons. And look at this sentence. The decision follows McLean's first spacewalk outside the International Space Station, which occurred last Friday, March 22nd. You know, their 322 spacewalk, the day I said there's going to be NASA propaganda... And again, even though we saw on their website they said they were going to do this, that doesn't matter. It was a day with 44 numerology. It was 223. I said NASA, Tesla, in the propaganda that day. Of course they were. More so NASA in space. And you saw how CNN talked it all up. That was the main part of it all. CNN didn't have to talk it up as much as they did, having all the front page as much as they did, but they did. Because it was, it was a day with 44 numerology. That's why I say look out for Friday for Facebook propaganda, for NASA, Tesla, again. So, that's really what I wanted to show you. Is just how stupid this is. Space food availability. See, oh, I guess I was just telling you about Friday, March 29th. You see what I'm saying? You see how this works? I said, my next NASA space... SpaceX Tesla probably in a prediction is the 29th because the date with 44 numerology. We scroll down because only one medium sized torso can be made ready by Friday, March 29th. Do you get it? I can predict these patterns so quickly and so can you. It has nothing to do with me. Again, it is only one number you need to look out for to keep on a very basic level is the number 44. Is the number for space. Again, the, the day they announced the cancellation, a date with 47 numerology, you know, Freemason's compass set at 47 degrees, time equals 47, masonry 84, 84th day of the year. It was 325, Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, 325, Freemasonry 67, but sacrifice 67, death 20. You go with 49 numerology, Scottish 49, NASA founded date with 94 numerology, 
and one one three. Sky's one one three. But again, I've been predict. I've been calling this day out for weeks now. So it's already happened. I said NASA's going to put up propaganda that day, and they're here telling you about some shit that's going to happen on the 29th already. So it's already come true again. Time equals 80, or no, time, 88 connects to time. 88 represents the analemma of the sun and the moon. And when it, it said that when each of those completed its cycle, you've traveled through time. And they make, it makes a figure eight shape, the sun and the moon, the analemma. There's 1,440 degrees in 88 because it's comprised of four circles. There's 1,440 minutes in a day. Time equals 144. Ohio has 88 counties. You know, I just put out a video showing you the time relevance in Ohio. This is why they have 88 counties. Back to the future, 88 miles per hour, and so on. So you see that. Again, Jewish 88, and say with 44 numerology, that's what makes me think Facebook might be in the propaganda, but that one's always tricky just because they're doing less rituals. And I mean, yeah, they, they do less rituals. You want to say, oh, because Tesla's in the propaganda more, that's why you're predicting it. No, I get why, why you'd say that, but again, I'm sticking to this 44. And then the other complementary things. I've already been teaching how Elon Musk loves to participate in propaganda by the number 51, Conspiracy 51, Freemason 51. So we will, we will see NASA. I mean, we will see NASA. They just said so. <laughs> and this is why. Space 44, Space 17, the reflection of 71, 71 to 20th prime, time 20. And it's a day with 277 days remaining. That's the 59th prime, Freemasonry equals 59. Day with 42. Oh. See, I don't, I don't want to like to call down these bottom ones. I'm not saying that they're irrelevant. I'm just, again, sticking to what I use on a regular basis because I like to keep this scientific. Again, guys, I've studied engineering before, so that's why I'm calling this type of shit out. I'm not saying I'm a good engineer. I'm not saying any shit like that. I'm just telling you, if you, if you study to be an engineer, you learn how to build stuff. You learn scientific approaches. You learn how to analyze and be exact and be precise every single time and see patterns for what they are. Which is mind-blowing why these supposedly engineery people, sciencey people, can't see through this bullshit-ass propaganda. And you see it here. You know, that's why I just immediately saw how dumb this is. I mean, <laughs> didn't have the spacesuits ready. Why are you fucking announcing it then? It's because it's fake news propaganda from NASA. And then I can't believe this. So the thing was supposed to be Friday, March 29th. Unbelievable. Cock this Friday. So, yeah, we get it. It's going to be a ritual that day. I think this, this video is over. <laughs> is NASA telling the truth? No, they're not. Yes. And you see this? This retard wrote yes. How are they telling the truth? I have rarely found that NASA officials have lied or even shaded the truth. Guys, am I tripping balls right now? Or is this what we're really seeing? Talk about propaganda. I mean, come, do you just read that? Who, what is this? Eric Berger. Guys, this guy needs to be held accountable. He's either a deceiver, a shell, or a completely retarded moron. What source is this? Ars Technica? I don't know. This guy might just be another dumb retard, and this might not even be... I mean, who knows? It could be complete Masonic propaganda. This guy's a Freemason is lying, but I mean, I don't know. But this, let's just assume because another dumb, retarded boy, you know, believing NASA and their bullshit propaganda. Is NASA telling the truth? <laughs> I mean, why do they even have to have this in here? So this idiot believes, for the most part, look, we're dealing with engineers here. And they're constantly making trades on what is the most expedient and safest solution to whatever problem they're facing. What? They couldn't get this. So I know you, you could say, well, the spacesuit, you know, you don't know. It's not that simple. Like the vacuum in the space, the gravity, you know, you know this day of the year, it could actually do this. And the gravity, you know, you can have all these little variables as to why the spacesuit measurements could have changed over time. I get how you can explain that away. But really, guys, you know how everything this gang does is by the numbers. It's for a ritual. It's done on purpose. You know, Chaos 19, that was 67 numerology, the 19th prime. They're saying this. What sacrifice 67? They're giving you this. You no, know, guys, they're engineers. So the something like the measurements of the space suit, they're literally saying that they couldn't fit. I mean, that's what one of the propaganda outlets was saying. 
First all-female spacewalk canceled because NASA doesn't have two suits that fit. You know, why, why can't they tell us, oh, there was a shift in atmospheric pressure, we had to redo them. You know, I was completely understood some unforeseen event or maybe a small miscalculation made them have to redo something. But the suits just didn't fit. This is what I first saw. That's why they make this video. I'm like, no. And then this retard who wrote this article is literally saying that they rarely lie. I mean, you guys, you see how the moon landing, the videos for that, that shit's all fake. Everything NASA literally puts out CGI, AI images all the time. I mean, everything they do is lying and faking. Scottish 113, they found it with 113 numerology. Bible come on 113A it says it's okay for the Jews to circumvent the Gentiles in a legal setting. Everything about NASA is a legal setting. It is the federal government. Guys, I can go all day long about NASA. NASA is also on that list of theater troops I can talk about all day long. Apollo 11, 11 the master number. These are a bunch of Freemasons right here. This is a play. Neil Armstrong, an actor for the federal government. So we're going to close it there. I don't want to. But we're just 10 minutes in. I do have the Thinkorswim app open. So might as well see. Might as well see some stuff. Might as well see Tesla. See what, the, what we just saw the alert earlier. So I know someone might want to see this today. You might have to flip the screen. This is why I don't like doing this because let's see. It's going to like flip the screen weird. <laughs> oh, well, at least we got good information. Oh, there we go. I hope, I hope that this is capturing good in the video. But Tesla had a good push up today. And I'm just thinking that is it building up stuff for Friday? And also, I, I, I'm personally still holding. I have, and I bought some when it was lower because it, it went back down to like the 260 area. So when it dipped and showed signs of another uptrend, I got back in with more. I mean, not many more. Because I'm, I'm not heavily invested in this. Don't worry about me losing money because I'm not going to lose money in this. If I do, it's not going to be much at all. It's going to be very little. That's the thing about Tesla. Like it's a. That's one thing I, I have to always admit about Tesla guys. They're a multi-billion dollar company. Their moves aren't that huge all the time. So like, your your you know your risk for loss, especially during a day trade, is really small. If you lose money, it's gonna be a small amount. But you have a chance to win like a decent a decent game if you play this right. And you can see now what have we been saying? We see history repeating itself on this daily chart. You see it pushes up either to this SMA indicated as green line and sells off or pushes up mainly to this EMA line, this blue indicator and sells off. You see it pushes up, sells off, pushes up. So this MACD could make like a double wave formation. That's not a real term, but that's why I call it. Like see this pattern it made, it can make this again. Like it's possible. But if you look at it, it looks like it's not so bad. Like it looks like this is pointing up but you see, every time the RSI gets up here, it'll sell off. This is how it's been in the past few days. So you'd want to have sold here today. You want to have had it push up, sold. And again, since tomorrow's not the Tesla day I'm looking for, if today was Thursday, it's okay, maybe. So maybe tomorrow it might sell off a bit and then maybe push up more Friday. Or again, guys, it's going to be negative propaganda and it'll sell off. That's pretty much what happened last time. That last day, there was negative propaganda about them, and they had a little sell-off. And also, again, I, I'm if nothing if nothing too much happens Friday, I want to hold into four slash four, because then what if he wins the hearing and then the shit just starts to fly? If he loses the hearing, you just cut your losses. So you know you can play this in many other ways. I'm just showing you how you can play this with the propaganda. Elon Musk is an actor for the Freemasons. So there you have it. We'll see what's going to happen tomorrow. I might do a follow up video. You can even see how on the four hour chart, it's kind of still overbought. Like, yeah, I mean, Right after hours, it sold off a bunch and kind of picked back up, but that doesn't mean too much. 
I still think it has, it has chance for another pullback and then a push up, or it could just rally t tomorrow. It's always hard to exactly tell. You know, it just started really uptrending today. It's just like a or a, a two three day uptrend. So they could be guys. Remember, this is also a Masonic pump and dump. So that it could be trending up through th through Thursday just to dump on Friday because of the propaganda coming out with the forty four numerology. You gotta keep that in mind too. Maybe looking at Friday from Elon Musk's birthday might give you some insights. But is it a good time to buy right at this moment? I wouldn't say so. I'd wait. Just because, again, it's gonna, it, last time we saw this type of thing, it did get rejected. Every time I said it's going to get rejected by this line, it just does. Because, again, these patterns repeat themselves. That's the secret to the market. Besides this gamatria, is people say look left. If it, it's happened before, it's probably going to happen again. That's why it's a good time to buy puts or short. But again, it's never a guarantee. The MACD, usually when it's in this, this red cycle, means it's time to like, but again, you can see it here, it's the green cycle didn't do too much. What well, kind of did. So you can't always rely on one indicator. That's why you can't always rely on this gematria. You can't always rely on just a line or this. You gotta like put everything together. No different than seeing the date numerology, syncing it up with the gematria with the dates and the birthday. It's the same with this. You gotta like, you know, again, you don't need indicators. You can just see, see support resistance level and then the shapes of the candles and the volume and make your decision that way. And then, you know, the time and sales, you can just use those basic things and see as well what's going to happen. You see here, see this resistance. I'm drawing a resistance line with this thing before it touched that and it sold off. So it's touching the same resistance and could sell off again. And then again, Friday is going to up in the air. So tomorrow will be an easier way to gauge to see what's going to happen Friday. What's possible too is this might, you know, consolidate tomorrow, even push up a bit or sell off or whatever. And then Friday, what happens is that shit can happen and it can go up to this SMA line. That's a pretty big jump. But it's possible. We saw, we've seen it happen on Force Flash for 2018. All right, peace out.